Mr. King, Mrs. King, it disheartens me to know that your time with Who Travels was not a satisfactory experience. That's why I brought you both in to co-write our co-wrongs. Perhaps it's only fair to let you begin by telling your side of the story. Mr. King? I think for this one, I will let my wife speak on our behalf. Oh, well, this is not the first time a female king wears the pants in the family. Mr. Hu, we are terribly upset at the travel package we got to London last month. Oh, was it the language barrier? Excuse? For travellers, sometimes you are not able to enjoy the city experiences we are in because of the language barrier. But is London? <laughs> yeah, I heard they speak English there, right? Complaining may have problem with language barrier. Anyways, as I just now say, we are terribly underwhelmed and in fact misled by the false advertising on your side. Uh, the site? Uh, which language tab did you use uh, while browsing? English? On your site, you say we will do a city tour of all the landmarks. Come photo or chance. Yes. Where got? The bus never stopped at any of the sites. But did you pass by these landmarks? Yeah. yeah. Did you get to see them? Yeah. yeah. So how did I falsely advertise my tour package? Because we didn't have a photo op law. So you saw these landmarks, but you didn't take any photos. Then it's my fault. Because! Because the bus never stopped at any of the sites. It just drove us aimlessly around town. What did you understand from our site when we say photo op? Op in photo op is short for opportunity. You must take advantage of it. If you don't, then the op becomes optional. Did we deliver in letting you see these landmarks? Yeah. Did you take any pictures when going by these landmarks? No. Whose fault is it? Ours? What nonsense. That is not how photo op works. Mrs. King, perhaps you don't understand our terms. In a tour package, it's very difficult to accommodate to everyone's pace. So, in making sure that we hit all the sites that we promised, we have to come up with a generic experience that we know we can provide. So, at the end of the day, we can say we deliver what we promise. Ah, I understand. I'm not finished. Your tour guide didn't let us off any toilet bricks. What reckless negligence is this? I could have developed stones, you know. My apologies. Could it be that the toilet was not a stone's throw, eh? <laughs> no. We were near a mall. He even made me wait for the designated toilet break two hours later. Oh, so there was a toilet break in the itinerary? Yes. So you were made aware of when the toilet breaks were allocated? Yeah. But he didn't let me off the bus and I, uh, I had to go. Mrs. King, in a tour group, we cannot be selfish. Everyone is on shared time. If you had wanted to go to the toilet, is it fair for everyone on the bus to wait for you? If we had allowed your exception, then we must allow exception for everyone. That way, how are we going to finish the photo op, right? Hmm. I see your point. And that is why we have allocated toilet breaks 
and it was indicated in the itinerary. Perhaps you could have monitored how much liquids you consume. Uh, did she drink a lot that morning? Yeah, she did. <gasps> Anything else? Mr. Travel Pronier, you said on your side we will see all the London landmarks. Huh? Trafalgar Square, Piccadilly Circus, Buckingham Palace, Hyde Park, Tower Bridge, Benedict Cumberbatch, Sam Smith, huh? and we saw them all. Mm. All except one falsely advertised. Big Bang! Yeah, we didn't see Big Ben. Never see, right? Never see. Never see. So you cannot anyhow say that I misread your information, correct? Yeah, you cannot say she misread the information. Correct, correct. Cannot, cannot, cannot. And you cannot say I anyhow changed my travel itinerary and agendas. Cannot, right? You cannot say she all that. Oh. Hmm. I see. Mr. King, do you remember the tour guide that morning? What was his name? I remember. His name was Ben. And he was big. Lao Po, we saw Big Ben.